From year to year, month to month, week to week, and day to day, people across the world are obsessed with a phenomenon that is professional wrestling. But why? 101 Reasons to Love Professional Wrestling There are many components of professional wrestling that should be both understood and celebrated, in no particular order. The Steel Chair The steel chair is an offshoot of a folding chair, a light portable piece of seating furniture. The folding chair's roots go back to 15th century BC. Yes, that's BC. The folding chair itself was patented by John Cham in 1855, but it would be in 1947 when the great Frederick Arnold created the first ever aluminum folding chair. Ten years later, Mr. Arnold's Brooklyn, New York company was making close to 15,000 chairs a day. Meanwhile, pro wrestling shows were often held in auditoriums, convention centers, and venues that would have bleachers and chairs for spectators to sit in. So it would have only been natural for a street fight, death match, or no holds barred match to spill into the seats. Brawlers like the Funk Brothers, who were outstanding grapplers in their own right, took it upon themselves to take the fan seats back since their fans were often only using the edge of them anyway. By the early 80s, all the wrestling territories were embracing the idea of bloody brawls. None of that would have been complete without a chair or two. The use of this foreign object has often been reserved for the most hated of rivals and the most desperate of situations. Yet in the 90s, professional wrestling saw a surge in steel chair violence. Wrapped in barbed wire, lit on fire, or used in tandem, the steel chair's place in professional wrestling history cannot be ignored. Everyone was swinging chairs. Everyone was taking heads off. Everyone was crushing skulls. Really, everyone. Okay, maybe one guy didn't. Oh, nope, he did too. Times have changed since these brutal attacks of interior design. Thanks to advancements in science and medicine, it is now frowned upon to swing a chair at someone's skull. Concussions are real, very real. This doesn't mean it doesn't happen, but when it does, it's met with controversy. And this also doesn't mean that steel chair's best days are over. Not at all. The steel chair is now used more for attacks to the back and other more creative moves. But still, it's to see in TLC for a reason. When you are in need of a place to sit, you don't have a lot of room, and comfort is nowhere near the top of your priority list, then the steel chair is your friend. However, that's not always the case in professional wrestling. 